Hi everyone, Mossmo here from the Blue Root team. And today what I want to show you is a very common use case that Wes helps with that honestly you couldn't do without a developer's help. So think of this scenario. You have an account, call it Blue Root, that's our company name. Then you also have five contacts that work at that account, right? And two of them, for example, Michael and Jenna. Well, let's say all of a sudden that account's address changes. Right now in Zoho, there is no way to update the address on all five people that work there or contacts, right? So Wes allows you to do that. That's one of the most common flows we see people using. So I'll walk you through how to do it here. So for example, uh, you would create a workflow in the account module. And within that module, you would then say, as an example, if any of these, you'd run it on edit, and you'd probably do it on repeat here. If any of these fields change, so for example, if you change the street, it'll run, or the city, it'll run, et cetera. Um, if any of these fields change inside of the account, I want to run a workflow rule, right? So I just leave this as all accounts. You could get more specific and be like, well, I only want this to run if the account's in the US, for example. Now you get to the action. And this advanced field update is where our WES or uh, advanced field update tool is. So you click this. Now you have four options here, and the one I want to show you today is this one. So this one is used for, in this scenario, if there's an account with many contacts, it'll update all of those contacts. So with this flow, every person, if there's five people, 10 people, 100 people that work at that account, all of their addresses will get updated. So I'm going to click on this. So now our tool says, okay, but which address or which related list do you want to change? So you could see here, this is our CRM. And so we have a bunch of related lists, but the one I care about the most is clients, which in your system might be called contacts, right? So I'm going to click on clients. And now it brings up a GUI that you have to interact with. So the first thing that we're going to be doing here is saying from the account record, I want to bring data down into the client. So on the left, you'll say, okay, well, since I'm trying to solve this problem, I'll say the billing street, so you can just type to find a record, or sorry, a field, needs to go down into the uh, street. I'll just put it to the other street in the client. And then I'll add another one. I'll say city goes to the city. And state goes to the state. And code goes to the zip and then lastly country if I could spell there we go goes to country okay and there we have it so now all we simply have to do is hit save now we have to name it something so this action can be used in other workflows so I'm gonna go ahead and name this I'm gonna name it uh, move address save. And now what we've done is we've basically done what a developer typically has to do. And we have written code without writing code. So every time you change the street, city, state, code, or country within the account record, all contacts attached to that account will be updated with the correct address. Thanks for watching.